Akron woman has a history of failing to control her pit bull. She was back before a judge today. She's facing a slew of new charges after police say a pack of pits randomly mauled several people. The victims were also in the courtroom. Bob Jones reports they feel the owner has been given too many chances, not enough punishment. Diane Yankee is facing 21 counts after her pit bulls got loose and attacked several people. Charges include having vicious dogs and dogs causing serious physical harm. The victims are frustrated that the owner is a repeat offender. I feel like it, all of these attacks could have been prevented had the court given any sort of real punishment in the past. Five weeks after the attack, scars from dozens of dog bites remain on Sarah Friddle's legs, but only tell part of her story of pain. Screaming, um, they ate all the way through to the bone on my leg, ripped a muscle out of the back of my leg. Sarah, a social worker, was on Reed Avenue to visit a patient, but when she got out of her car, this pack of roaming pit bulls viciously attacked her. A man who pulled the dogs off Sarah was also bitten, as was a mailman. And later that morning, in a different neighborhood, investigators say the pit bulls chewed up Betty Bennett's arms and legs. I just knew I was dead. I, that's, that's all I can say, is I just knew that they What's going to kill me? The dogs have since been put down, and their owner, Diane Yankee, is facing more than 20 charges, many connected to the attacks. We found it's been an ongoing problem for Yankee. Three other criminal cases since September, including another bite to a 62-year-old man. Yankee has convictions for not securing dogs and for having a vicious dog, but judges suspended jail sentences. Her fines totaled $550. Essentially, doggy probation has done no good, and it could have been so much worse. It could have been a child that was killed. Sarah feels like the system failed her. We took her concerns to Akron City Prosecutor Gertrude Wilms. I would like to make sure that we really take heed on that and make sure this does not happen again with this particular dog owner. Wilm says if Yankee is convicted again, prosecutors may recommend jail time, five years probation, and possibly prohibit her from owning pets during that time. At minimum, she shouldn't be allowed to own animals. She's proven herself to be an irresponsible animal owner. Yankee is due back in court for a pretrial hearing here at Akron Municipal Court on April 26th. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.